Once again, I be obey. One family. I be obey. One family. I be obey. One family. One family. I be obey. I'm glad to be in your midst here in Los Angeles, California, USA. By the very special grace of the Most High Elohim, I bring you very warm affection. I bring love and hopefully I will bring unity, a sense of purpose and direction at the close of our proceedings today. The reason why we are gathered here is for one very important, inescapable fact. That very fact is that Biafra must come Amen. and Amen. move forward. Amen. Two things that is where we live. That is our ambition, that is our purpose, and we have come to accomplish it. There is nothing the zoo can do about it. There is nothing the cabal led by Abba Kiyari can do about it. There is nothing Jubri Aminu Al Sudani can do about it. There is nothing Burakai can do about it. There is nothing the conspiratorial Yorubas can do about it. And I assure you that there is nothing all Hanesa can do about it. Amen. The Yorubas cannot do anything about it. Even Satan cannot do anything about it. Some people no, are no, 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 no. Where was I in California? That was in 2015. I was arrested. I came here and I preached. I said that I am consistent. I never change and I never fail. Not through any strength of mine. But by the grace of Chukoki Gabia in heaven. If it was the wish of the Most High that Jafra will not come, by now I would have been dead. Doctor. They had four opportunities to kill me, but they couldn't kill me. They could have killed me in Lagos. When they were taking me to Abuja, they would have killed me had they chosen to do so. When I was in their custody, solitary confinement, undergoing torture, both mental and physical, I was bleeding from the nose for eight days consecutively. I could have died if it was the wish of heaven, but I did not. When they came to Kujia prison, to my cell, and we are firing live ammunition at me. And they are tear gas, they could have killed me, but I did not die. But instead, I went to the court and I told them that they cannot jail me, that they cannot kill me. And Buhari, when he was alive, then he is a madman. Sometimes I find it very, very astonishing that some people that cannot muster the courage to speak to a yellow fever at the end of the road, where they come from, will have the temerity to question the validity of our claim to Biafra restoration and to have the nerve. to question our determination. If you had any doubts before you came here today as to how serious we are, I am sure by the end of this year, you will no longer have any need to doubt us. You will not have serious we are. He said... Watch it again! Yes, sir. When they came to my house to kill me with a battalion of soldiers, Nigeria Air Force, Nigeria Police, DSS. Mobile police, military police, just name it. 
As I have said on numerous occasions, we lost 28 men. They died because of you. That Biafra may come. That you may rediscover who you are once again and stop dwelling in a foreign land. The mistakes of the past will come to haunt us if we fail to grasp this very opportunity before us to support everything that IPOB is doing to ensure that Biafra is restored as quickly as possible. If you fail to restore Biafra, you will die in shame. If you fail to restore Biafra, you will just be a footnote in history. But if you help to restore Biafra, your place in history will never ever be forgotten. Yeah. Yeah. I am in the USA. Long time ago, some men were taken from somewhere near our nation. Their wives and their children, they brought them to this country. As some of you may know, or as some may not know, they went to a place, it's called um, Savannah, is that correct? In Georgia. Savannah, Georgia, yeah. The Able Land, they have been there. I don't know how many of you have been to that very place. I have been there. When the white man asked me when I was writing my thesis in England, he said, why must you decide to do a critique of dependency theory? I said, because I am descended from this part of Biafra, where men consider it an honor to be dead than to be slaves to fellow men. The unique privilege. I consider myself lucky to be born an Igbo man and a Biafran. It is the best part that anybody can have in life if you come from Africa, I assure you. But some of us don't know what it means. We have jettisoned our pride. We have mortgaged our sense of self-worth. We are now servants to those who between 1940 and 1960 we are not considered good enough to be our great men. Hmm. When the Igbo Union used to hold sway in the zoo called Nigeria, Igbo Union represented the finest thing in a diaphragm. It encapsulated everything beautiful about an Igbo person. Not of an essay. As a Igbo Union that built Aba National High School. Do you know that? Do you know that? In fact, it was Igbo National, is that correct? Yes. Before they named it. Since that very time, Chuko Biama gave us a beacon of light in Mbakwe. Mbakwe came and that light was prematurely extinguished. And after Mbakwe left, the state has been left bereft of men of ideas, <laughs> men of conviction, men of very deep intellect, and men who can be relied upon in times of crisis. What we have now are artificial Igbo men, artificial Biafrans, people that find solace in serving people that ought to be serving them. Some of you are here today because now you realize that the Fulanis are getting very close to your villages. Is that correct? Yes. Very close. <laughs> And I ask you, who do you think is going to stop them? Who will stop full and from taking over your villages? It's only IPOB by the grace of God. Yes, so. I said only IPOB can. No other person will. Yes. They lack the metal. They lack the stomach and they are not brave enough to confront this very clear and imminent danger that is confronting each and every one of us. 
I came here in 2015, not too far from the hotel where I'm staying. I told the World War Congress then to give me guns and to give me bullets that you in the USA need defending. They did not believe me. But today, every organization around the world is looking for IBOB because they have now realized that we have always been right. There is nothing I say that doesn't come to pass. Everything I say comes to pass. I mean everything. It may sound wretched and pathetic to you. It may sound unrealistic to you. It may sound like a joke to you, but in the end, it comes to pass. It comes to pass because Chico de Carabiana is sending you a message through us. Some of you will not listen, and those that will not listen, your land will fall to the full and ease. Those that fail to listen, they will be cannibalized in the process. Your daughters will be abducted, your mothers will be raped and your wives taken away from you. You are being extorted on a daily basis. The largest checkpoints you have anywhere on earth is in Biafra land. That's right. There is no federal presence in the land that the oil and gas that sustains the zoo comes from. We, are, we have now been reduced to begging for the position of ordinary secretary to government. That is how low we have fallen. That is how foolish we have become due to a combination of cowardice, jealousy, greed, envy, and gossip. Because the only way that a Biafran, I did not say an evil man, the only way a Biafran can rise up is by gossiping the brother or the sister to fool any people, to Yoruba, those that doubt what we say should have heard what the doctor said yesterday. It was yesterday, wasn't it? Yes. They withheld his certificate to the Senate, you know, like a little child. He was jumping up and down, begging for it. They said, are you willing to condemn your people? He said, yes, please give me the certificate. Are you willing? He said, yes. The same man that I've spent four years telling you that we should vote for APC in order for Igbo presidency to come in 2023, only yesterday said there is nothing like Igbo presidency anymore. <laughs> Am I correct? Yes. Uh -huh. know, yeah? I yes, know yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. <laughs> But he's an Igbo leader. <laughs> In Okura Usa town. <laughs> an Awusa man planted in your midst to convince you to turn your brain against IPOB for four years. At last, when he got to Abuja, he declared before the world that his people are irrelevant. They no longer matter in the scheme of things. That everything happened to us, we deserve it. And they are your leaders. Before the Fulani man came to kill me, they sought the permission of two people, British government and so-called Igbo leaders. And they gave them the go-ahead to kill me. Yes, Igbo men did. Or Aneze and your so-called governments. They gave Fulani people permission to come to Isiyan Afara to kill our people. And now I ask you this question. How many times have you heard that a northern governor asked the army to come and kill Boko Haram? None. As they were busy twisting all of your brains against IPOB and against myself, 
They were busy preparing for the invasion of our land. You know, you're not hearing about it. Some of you here don't know what is happening back home because they deliberately starve you of that very information. The same thing happened during the war. Enugu fell after only three months of the war starting. As we are fighting in Ababa, in Oka, in Onesha, as we are fighting inch by inch every territory of land in our place, people in Enugu were going to school. Are you aware of that? They were going to school in Enugu. Really? Yes. Because Enugu fell after only three months. People in Enugu did not know what was happening at Ogiwe. The same way you are today, because all your news media is being controlled by people that don't wish you to be alive, I tell you. Oh. They want you dead. There, there are good people, as in, with every society, you have the good, the bad, and the very ugly. Yeah. The same way it is over there in the West is how it is in the East. They went through our land conversing for the prescription of IPOB, for the tagging of myself and IPOB as a terrorist entity. But today, I travel more freely than Jibril al Sudani. That's right. I travel more freely than Biatai. I travel more freely than all those who are in charge of the persecution of the innocent. You can see. To let the world know that we're not terrorists. All we are asking for is an opportunity to be free. But the greater burden lies in your hands, all of you, here gathered today. If you want Biafra to come, Biafra will come. If you prefer to be slaves, or at yeah, least voluntary slaves in America, because before it was by force, now it's voluntary. <laughs> if you want to be voluntary slaves in America, you're more than welcome to do so. But understand this very thing, that the more you reside here, without fighting to be free, the more you are saying to yourself and to the whole world that you are worth less than an animal. I'm telling you the truth. If you don't have any shame, you will remain in America. You will oppose IPOB. You will not join us in what we are doing. You will find every excuse that will be part of this very great movement. But as one Zoo lawyer said, senior advocate of the zoo, Zagoma, he said that IPOB's agitation is historic. That the foundations of the zoo is shaking to today's part of IPOB. That full armies have not come into your villages to pick you one by one is because of IPOB. That the zoo including your past, that they are still living is because of IPOB. Hmm. But they know how to divide us, and they do it very well, perfectly well. Yes. I remember it was in 2015 it was. When we were making our overtures to our cousins, in the coastal region, especially the jobs. Tumpolo went and did a press statement, he's still online to today, saying that a bigger masquerade, like Buhari is cutting him, who is in the camp? All these things are documented, they are historical, they are online, you can find it if you look for it. But the same person that he aligned with has been persecuting him and his village that led to the death of his father till this very moment. Yep. His village was occupied only last week by the army. Again. 
And that is why I said to them, any time you walk with full army, you stand yourself with that nonsense called Nigeria. You will always return in shame. shame. Yes. It doesn't matter how long it takes. Eventually they will disgrace you. You said it. Yeah. yeah. Now, full of means they come to Anambra and they kill us because Jubril, or should I say the cabal, led by Abakiyari, confirmed Obi are not in power for another four years. Now, Fulani can come into Anambra and kill as many of us as possible. The governor that is the chief security officer of the state will not say anything. And now I ask some of you here, what is your justification for supporting these people that are against us? Our enemies come all the time to kill us and they do nothing. They went out of their way to ask for this to kill us in our own land. Some of you talk about them in glory times. Some of you even go as far as trying to acknowledge them. But they are the source of your problem and they will lead to your destruction because they cannot see. And so we are coming here, it occurred to us, I think there was a bee who reminded us that um, that thing that Otman Danfolio said and the Sadwana echoed that they will conquer us and use us as their willing to use it, willing uh, tools or whatever it is called. Slaves. 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 That they will conquer us all the way to the ocean. Hmm. Have you read it? Yes. Have you already? And it's now time to fix it. And that time is now. You see, I don't believe that the white man is God. Okay. I believe that God is too good to be in heaven. That the way we are today is as a result of our... And today, our communities are under siege and we are able to ashamed to acknowledge it. Some of you still refer to Hanese as the apex socio-cultural organization. A group they put together for you. I pointed who the leadership should be. Tell them what to do. And they do it. When it's too late, they turn around and tell you, oh, Nigeria can no longer be one. When did he say it? Was it yesterday? No, yeah, on Friday, yeah, yesterday. Yesterday. That's right. The same man that said that Hanam the Khan is finding the embers of war. Today he has realized that Nigeria is unsalvageable. The something I told him in the city room, he cannot stop the suit. Hmm. It is not rocket science. No matter what you do, Nigeria will never love you. At all. That's true. It doesn't matter what you do, the problem. Of you. I also said it long time ago, many months ago, that Tinubu will put your pass into trouble. <laughs> and today, your people are not confirming what I told them. Tinubu's ambition for the presidency will sink the Yorubas. And today, the Fulanis are there. They cannot talk because. It's either you find the full amazing and lose the presidency, or you are allowed to take over your land so you can be president. I hope you're following me very carefully. Yes. Our fight is to save everybody. My little bet, what is your name, including the other people, including the T.Y. Danjuma that fought us during the war. His name is Theophilus. He's a Christian. That's right. That's right. The one is so ashamed. They are killing his people. He can no longer talk. Oh, yeah, you better not see. You can see that you can't see that. You can't see that. You can't see that. You can't see
Ni gawana ko onere. I told them that the zoo, if they don't give us the Afro, if you remember, mm. that Somalia would be better than Nigeria. I said it. Yes. <laughs> Then you know when you visit and you say, is there any day? Mm-hmm. That's a good one. And before we leave the zoo, we are going to fight our way out. You may not like it, but it's the truth. Because you left it too late. Hmm. It's your fault. You know that Elohim is very wonderful. The Jews, our cousins in Israel, made this same foolish mistake we are making today. Foolish mistake. They left their land, went to foreign clients, built synagogues, as some of you did. You do something in Virginia, is that right? Hippo village. Hippo village. <laughs> I will go there and destroy it. Oh, <laughs> Hamadike. <laughs> that means you're not planning to go home again. <laughs> Isn't it? Yes. Instead of going to go home and see what is happening, you go to Virginia and see that houses. You feel good within yourself Doesn't that you've sense. arrived. You've done something for your people. Whereas you are contributing to our extinction as a race. The Jews survived because they had their language and their religion. They knew that before they can revive themselves, they need what is called a commonality. One common thread that runs through all of them. If it is not the religion, it is the language. You go to houses here in LA, very affluent, very rich Jews are here. All their children speak Hebrew. Mm -hmm. Do you know that? Yes. Yes. Do you know why they speak Hebrew? No. And the reason why you speak in Proverbs or in Abed is to direct your words so that it will hit the mark. Is that not correct? I say this to you. Ndi Mosi ni Isukama na Nechi. And I wish you don't forget. Mbanda. Eh? Mbanda. It was around Bombay by nine plan in American slang. Is that possible? No. Only that you don't for me here. Is that not true? Am I making any sense here? Yes. It's a common language. Inside you, the plan it stays that way and it works. The Ekumek would be that was why they fought the British. Successfully, in the same manner today that they said doesn't belong to us. The same elders, intelligentsia, they have one man and all the other three are not elites. They are leaders of thought, leaders of thought, <laughs> and leaders of stupidity. <laughs> they abandoned that nyoma. Is that nyoma a household language? No. And number one, in the house. They abandoned it. Some of you don't know that Abraham, or you've heard of for hand, Abraham will go to the government to people's yes? Yes. And I will start getting full of it here. Let me correct myself. Cain, after the war, decided to divide Abraham into three. Hmm. There is one Abraham in Delta State, one Abraham in River State. One Abraham in Hebrew states. Listen carefully. The one in Delta, Abraham, the same family, the same people, they are not Hebrew. 
The evil man in the first state is not evil. Only the one in evil. You want it for your own advantage. Because Instead of you to compete with your fallen men or those actually oppressing you, you want to compete with your next door neighbor, your own brother, your own flesh, your own blood. And as you are fighting, the hyena, Kora, then you can do food. One, one! You don't want to go and be like the candle. The only one to do is to impress somebody from next day. The competitor. The dark person is not your enemy. Your enemy is the one. Because they want you dead, all of you. To take over our land. This hundred billion they have planned to give to me Tiala. Where did they get the money from? From where? Is there any oil in our land? Any oil in foreign land? Any oil in your land? No. As an angel, you know what I do. I ask all of you to do what organization have done six, seven years ago, which is to listen to IPOV. And our prescription for curing this very illness, afflicting us. Because if you sit and do nothing in LA, from our land. And, and don't tell me it will not happen. It happened to the Alwasa people. It happened to DV people. Or maybe one of these UG, that is what you want. I think so. I think so. Because if we are serious about getting ourselves out of this mess, starting from this very moment, we should make it a point of duty to get everybody around us to believe that our freedom is the only way out. No other way. I read the EU report. Have you read it? That came out today. I brought that about the EU report on election in this year. Oh, okay. Did you read it? Yes. Who read it here? Was it not very clear that Igbos were stopped from voting in Lagos, in Abuja, in Kano? Did they mention it in the report? Did they mention it? It's to let you know that you're. Are more than yes. If you listen to a if you listen to those corrupt governors, you will die. If you listen to their politicians, you will die. There is only one remedy. One, one remedy, not two, not three, not four. One only. And it's that remedy. And there is no duplicate. There is no counterfeit in IPOB. If it is not IPOB, it is not IPOB. Because Fulani is replicating everything we are doing to confuse and to convince some of you. I won't be surprised as I'm here talking to you. They are raising their children, perhaps to talk somewhere else. Everything we have, they have created it double. To confuse you. All the names they called us. Is to be a haunting them. The same of Pastor Angela. Which one you want to run with Miss Grant? Miss Grant. Miss Grant. Miss Grant. Miss Grant. And uh, Obi will make sure. I'm going to Houston, Texas. 
I want a Biafran t-shirt with Miss Grants written at the back. I want to wear it here. <laughs> he called us Miss Grass. <laughs> but today, he agrees with uh, Miss Grass. <laughs> and went as far as saying that if not for the people who are prepared, the people who are prepared are they? South East. And who is South East making that possible? IBOB. Oh, yeah. IBOB. The indigenous people of yeah. That's right. That's right. IPOB. This is from our pastor and Jordan. Know something that some of you don't know. Can you even give us a good time to go ahead and message this from me? Because in those days, as I keep saying in every town hall meeting that I go to, when my uncle came to US to study, De Jacob Alozia. On his way back, my grandmother said they went to the railway. Oh my baby to the railway. You know, a woman they like to be strapped, not one. Mm -hmm. They brought out the outer layer. They asked him not to enter into any vehicle. That our young men should not carry him on his head. They placed their wrapper on the floor, on the ground, and he was walking until he got his father's compound. That is who we are in those days. In those days, if you come first, second, or third in your class, it doesn't matter who you are. Anybody you see along the road, if you look at my daughter, will give you something. Because you did well. Because as somebody that grew up in the village, And a Google woman when a, a new child is born. You know, here the planet is it baby shower. Can't even know. Our baby shower is outside. Is it outside? Outside. Your grandmother will sing from her village with Saturday night powder. Is that not correct? That's right. Along the road, announcing your birth. Now, what you know, one. The whole world will know. Until she gets to your village. And then your father's mother or aunt or whoever will take over. Everybody will rub powder and there will be joy and gladness. Is that correct? These are some of the values you have lost by coming to America. I'm not saying that coming to America is not good, or those of us that went to England that is not good, but it's for you to go and learn something and bring it back home. Only then will the Europeans or the Western world respect you. Japan did it. Today, Japan entered here visa free. Is that correct? Is that correct? I am sure that Malaysia come here as well with uh, very minimum force. Singapore can come here. But there was a time the zoo was richer than Singapore. You don't know that? Or is it Dubai and all the rest of them? Ask yourselves this question. Why is it that other parts of the world are growing? Only Africa, Black Africa, every place that year is going backwards. The way we reason is very, very bad. And we end up feeling sorry for ourselves every blessed day. And that is why we are here. And I'm not going to reason I'm saying there's no barrier. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the <it? laughs> <laughs> 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 If you celebrate death, death will come. Do you know that? Do you know? Yes. I want you to be able to say, uh, it will be The same thing with death. 
I am happy with Konkunaga around here, Ajo. He's not done that way. Seek the kingdom of heaven first. That kingdom for our own purposes is Biafra. Yes, sir. Once you seek Biafra first, every other piece will get the jigsaw. Amen. Amen. You say. Then the world can respect us. Mm -hmm. Humanity can respect Biafra. Mm -hmm. As I said to them two days ago, I went to a very important meeting. They, they asked me, why do you want Biafra so desperately? That freedom for Biafra means the destabilization of West Africa. And I asked them who was destabilized when the Soviet Union collapsed. They couldn't answer me. <laughs> I asked them who, who was destabilized when Yugoslavia collapsed. They could not tell me. <laughs> who was destabilized when East Timor was carved out of Indonesia? <laughs> mm -hmm. Somalia. Who collapsed when Albania and Kosovo became independent? said to the man, if nothing happened to Soviet Union, a nuclear power, mm -hmm. nothing will happen to us in West Africa. Yeah. I'm telling you this because this is the argument they prefer at your State Department. You know that Zakaria Mohammed, that's her name, isn't it? That lady, the deputy UN chief. Yes, yes. Zainab, thank you very much. Zainab, no, sorry. Zainab. Is that Mohammed? Thank you. Do you know that foreign people are working for the freedom of the Sahara? Is this? My goodness, I can't even pronounce it. Sarawahi. Sarawahi. Is that correct? Imagine a book talking about self determination. <laughs> and it's public. They're not hiding it. They said we'll do everything within our powers to make sure. That those Polanis there, that they are free, they have their own country. And then they go and they convince EK for the matter to attack IPOB, asking for your freedom. The freedom to control your destiny, your own resources, is your own land. The freedom from being killed every blessed day in the north. I don't have any projector. I want to show you. The wolf area. Come, come, container from the wall. I'm so sorry. They died on the spot. And somebody said, why? It's not just the zoo. It is the way that black people reason. It's not the fault of Nigeria. When they killed us in, in Joss, the first was in the first killing was in Joss, I remember the time. We had a man with Ezekiel, one of the most learned, intelligent, gifted, everything. A rule 1945, 1947, 1953, 1959. Consistent killing after killing after killing after killing. And you think they will not you? I don't understand it. Who said so? Failure to control the pain is what you are witnessing today. And they said we should submit our uh, double barrel. <laughs> huh? 
Have you seen their videos where they are training their wives and their children on how to shoot every person? Have you seen it? The teacher will have to call for the arrest. Did the organizer call for the arrest? Did the government call for the arrest? Then just because I came here to tell you to prepare for what is to come, the son should be killed. And you know the families are very clever because the British advise them what to do. Anytime they know that IPOB is not behind you, you are gone. They disgrace all of them. The only person they found it fit to give something to is Senator Olive. Why? Because they know I feel this with you. You know, for investing. They have looked at all of them. Without IPOB support, you are not. Absolutely nothing. That is why all of you here that are today must rise up and do the needful. What is that needful? Not only are you going to join IPOB, some of not ever will pay their monthly deal. Some will sell their houses. Because when it happened to the Jews, they were begging for a land. They were begging for their sheep, the Exodus, to, to allow them to dock. They were begging. It is, it is up to you. When I was in Atalopa, yes, it's up to you to support the emancipation of your people if you like. I can't beg you. Biafra doesn't belong to me. Does not belong to him. In fact, my village and my father is the Eze. Doesn't even belong to him. It's for you to do with as you please. If you want to be slaves for life, that's entirely up to you. But as for me, and this very family of IPOB, we have chosen freedom. Amen. And that freedom must come. Yes, that freedom must come. Yes, that freedom must come. Yes, How many Americans are pensioners in the zoo? How many white Americans are in the zoo collecting their pension? Huh? Huh? You know, in Germany, as an African, don't worry about it. Is it not? Don't you think it's time to go home? Am I correct? You have your passport home. Very soon, is it? Don't you think it's time to, to go home? I don't know how some of you will be shared. It's so humiliating. We believe in life after death. And if after this life you succeed in making it to heaven, that is assuming that you did not proceed to put me away whilst you are dead. You make it to heaven. And they say to you, all oh, that oil in no the The black and white man bring their bone. All the gold in our half year. All the oil in whom we are that to lay. All the oil you have in Lubuta. All the oil, the gas you have in your heart. What do you do with it? You say, oh, uh, four and eight came and took it. Eh? Oh, God, I'm directing it to her. Now, I said, no, I'm not for you. You get to get it. God in heaven gave you a gift. And four and eight took it from you. Everybody wants to be recognized and acknowledged. 
If it means going to their houses, knocking door to door, you go and notify them that Biafra is coming. And let me also make it very clear. You know, you know, I like to Huh? I said it before, man. You don't know that. Hey, it's not good to stay without enemies. You don't know that. You are born. If you give birth to a child, that child doesn't suffer from childhood illness of any sort. No headache, no malaria. No nothing. The day disease will come, that child will die now. Because the immune system is not well trained to handle trouble. So any time that I know he's a bit lazy, I start trouble somewhere. So every day we do the immune system, isn't it? Every pleasant day. If there is no trouble, we start one. Nothing unites the people more than trouble. Two of us. True. What did the land do to America? Is America not good for the trouble? <laughs> what did the land do to America? Huh? Maybe na them by my son are by not saying that okay, I do it, I do it, I do it. In your mind, what can I do? You think I'm not doing it? I don't know what people of you. What we are asking for is not a Biafra for Nambekan or any other person. It is your Biafra. It belongs to you, your own land. Some of you, by the time you go home next time, your village may no longer exist. Unless you rise up today to support us, the following to think about our land. And all the people that you call your elders or your leaders or intelligentsia or elites or leaders of thought will be nowhere to be found. Because it was four armies that appointed all of them. How many of four armies people come to your land to come and collect power? They were all there. That the only way you can climb into office is by casting aspersions against your own people, by denigrating your own people, by insulting them before Fulani people. As uh, Abu Awas have just done, and many more like him. Does anyone hear from Mugigo these days? Mugigo. And the latest it was announced that the one my own, their favorite slave from Ebony is now the secretary of the government. Do you know why they did that? So when they go to Europe and they say that and the Kano and this are people that is talking us a lot about uh, anyway, I won't say much. Had hit you now once, not back in the world. Your land is gone. We will not get this mark for the back. What is today's date? I'm telling you again today, if you don't get time, Biafra will be gone. But with your help and the grace of Almighty, Biafra will be restored in our time.
Okay, um, right now we only have right about 30 minutes for question and answer section. Please, if you have any question, just go straight to your question. We don't want comments, we don't have enough time. Be good. Go straight to the question. Move on. Just be busy too much. I will make it entertaining as much question as possible. Be good. Okay, Biko, um, I'll go to your question. Um, get to this side, the first person in the land of Rose Bowl. If you have your own question, if you ask your own question, you go sit down the next person, please. Um, should we do it five at a time or should we go one at a time? One at a time, okay. All right, here. Uh, Mazel, Open game. Nicolet Macron, the Wooden King. I'm not sick of killing the Gosnag number one. We have one win. I am behind Sunday. Um, a captain, na you may sound it. Uh, I stages, walk with before because right now, just thinking that the stage and the name of the work. Okay, 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 I was in here and I said, 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 because I went to the Israeli parliament, I met some Israeli lawmakers, please listen carefully. And they gave me an appointment to come back. I went back and they started telling me that the report they got from the zoo called Nigeria is very distressing. That they said I killed two guards in prison and I jumped over the wall and escaped to Israel. I also met some Israeli businessmen to ensure that we are sufficient in terms of food production, Magadi Amama. Okay, Z Bazo went to Israeli embassy in Abuja to go and scuttle that very day. So anything I say to you now, believe you me, they'll deploy measures to counter it. But we are doing quite a lot. And the way you can know this is by measuring the number of people that they give asylum to all over the world. That is the only yardstick you can use for now. But I cannot go into specific details. I've been here, I've been having a whole meeting, so to speak, but I will not tell you with whom. Because if I do, it might be anywhere. They will go Google whatever we're paying them, and the next time you go, they will tell you that you can at the wrong day. So these are things we are seeking to avoid, but we are making a lot of progress I can assure you. Thank you very much. Attitude 
in approaching American government for help. Is there a generic letter that IPOB has? We can all put our address in, sign it, and send to our senators and congressmen. That's one question. And the second question is, the second question is, the referendum we are talking about, can we have a test run of that referendum in diaspora, in America, Europe, Asia? Let's have it here first, before we go to Nigeria. I mean, to, to the zoo. You go down. Yeah. My name is Chief Doctor Bernard Fuka, Baban Dozobo, Baban Dodi Obumbu. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, regarding your first question, white people don't respond to letters, they respond to direct action. Hmm? If you want something as important as your freedom, you must agitate for it. You don't write from the comfort of your home. It's a very good thing. Let me put it to you this way. <clears throat> In 2020, elections are coming up here. Is that correct? Yes. If all of you, dear friends, can devote just one day to go to Washington, all of you, only one day of your life to go to Washington, and they look out from their windows in the Capitol Hill and they see that over a million their friends are marching. They will now come to us to ask us what we want, not us going to them. <laughs> Martin Luther King could have written letters, but he chose to march on the street. Even the the LGBT. They went to Washington. Was it laughing? To go and march. Once you are involved in agitation that concerns freedom, you must take direct action. If all of you can have just one day so one day only, from California, from Texas, from Nevada, all of you converge on Capitol Hill, the world will not be the same again. But can you do it? Yes. Can you do it? Yes. Can you do it? Yes, we can. That's what it takes. And regarding the mob referendum, we never factor in having to do it abroad. But it's something that we're looking to from now on. Thank you very much.
So, I'm not going to be any kind of way. I'm not going to be any kind I'm not going to be any kind of way. I'm not going to be any kind of way. I'm not going to be any kind of way. I'm not going to be any kind of way. I'm not going to be any kind of way. I'm not going to be any kind of way. I'm not going to be any so, if only go to I will keep on one and I don't know what them bomb can like go or no. I can hear the angry word tomorrow. So, um, even in the Canadian world, I'm not going to be asking them where all good is. Emma, even in Israel. And the farmer for my It won't die. I don't know where I see your coming from. Oh, who there was? Can it? But it didn't even. You might buy a little bit of a. No, 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 I feel one family. I I how many Biafrans are there in the USA? Over, let's say, from 18 years on. Millions? Not up to million. But in terms of Biafra, we need both documented and undocumented. Yes, if all of you can promise that every bullet you expend, you, you replace it, then we start something. Immediately. But the problem that we're having is this. Before you go into freedom fighting, you must be prepared to fight to the death, to the finish. Not stop halfway. Not when they bring you money, you take. When they buy you a house on the Pennsylvania, you collect and start um, saying something is different. Are you prepared to sustain this hardship through thick and thin? Pain upon pain. Because you know we, we are traders. I'm sure you know we are the color business in the sense we are traders. And that's why profit and loss immediately. If there is no profit or loss, we become irritated. Do you have what it takes mentally to sustain a campaign for five years? As they're doing in Amazonia. Can you do what they're doing? If you can, then all of you here are, most of you are working. Not the kids, most of you are working. 
if we ask you to contribute one dollar a month to sustain the efforts of living back home, my grandma can you do it? Yes. One dollar a month. Yes. Can you do it? Yes. Will you help me? Yes. You you know what we do is you will sit in your counter. Is it counting here? Oh, Paul, what do you call them? Count them. Count them. Count yes. You, you will sit here and calculate how many jazz hands there are. <laughs> no, my own bag is wrong. And so does it mean you hear me and you hear me and you hear me and you Can you overcome that? Because there are some demons, you know, stopping us from being free. And that is one of them. I don't know if it is greed or envy or jealousy. But there is something. One dollar is not big money. But if we ask you, considering what we have accomplished so far, to support us with one dollar a month, some of you will be and say no. You start calculating. Can I give that to you? That is the problem. They forget that we are dying every blessing. As I'm speaking to you, I want to get the men and the family to put it into perspective what we are going through. That Biafra is not just for evil people alone, it is for everybody. If you go to Incontent Menesi ID today. Incontent Menesi ID. There is a man there with his wife. His name is Aniatan James Udo. And they have a one and a half year old baby called Daniel. Three of them are in police custody because of Biafra. Right now, as we speak, a whole family. This is what we are going through back home. Can you be able to overcome your little demon in your head? I don't know if more drunk than you, because what can you do with Will you believe that we are doing this thing for you? That we are doing you a favor by trying to liberate you? You see, it's that you'll be able to put hand in your pocket every month to bring that one dollar, or else you do it. That's where somebody will come and say, "If you have a woman, this thing you people are doing." Mm. <laughs> Once you have it in your head, this thing you people are doing, you will not contribute to to this. Not one time. Let me not say go come back on this week. You can't. It takes an extraordinarily patriotic human being to support freedom fighting movement. That is why IPOB is special. And that is why that name IPOB will be immortalized forever and ever. Yeah. I assure you. Thank you, sir. Do you have some? Do you have some? No. Finish, finish, finish. We have one. Finish.